In the Father, and with the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God is amazing because I was all ready to talk in a particular way about Lazarus Saturday. And God brings us through the message of St. Paul telling different revelation. You heard our dear Joe read from the Epistle to Hebrews. And it says, Remember those suffering affliction, for you have mortal bodies yourselves. Be content with what you have, for God himself has said, I will never fail you, nor ever forsake you. So we proclaim boldly, the Lord is my supporter. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? I was thinking, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, that there's so much fear and anxiety that has been perpetuated all across the airways. I wish our hires would actually come to us and say, like they've said with other directives, stop watching television. Stop listening to that message. It's the wrong message. It's not the message of the gospel. It's not the message of Christ. And it certainly isn't the message that we just heard this morning. Those people who are not Orthodox, who are not mainstream Christians, would hear about this raising of Lazarus and say, yeah, right. There's no proof of that, but there is proof of that. Lazarus was a human being. After he was raised from the dead, he was appointed by St. Paul's disciple Barnabas to be the first bishop outside of Cyprus, in a place called Kutu. Okay, It's documented. Here's a man who was in the tomb four days, that Christ rose, went on to live his life. Which begs the question with us. We've kind of been like, forgive me, Lord, but I'm going to use this point. We've kind of been entombed in our own homes for the past several weeks. Can't go any place unless it's necessity, whatever that means. My idea of necessity my wife is totally different. She always corrects me, thank God. But I, I think we understand that, at least we should understand, we are not in this alone. Yes, we're all isolated. But remember Lazarus. Remember Lazarus. And what did Christ say to his disciples before they got back to Bethany? Your friend has been dead precisely so that you will see the glory of God. The same is happening here. We're kind of entombed and isolated, and, and we're all like hunkering down and waiting for the end. It's all going to be for the glory of God. Do we know how it's going to play out? Of course not. We're not supposed to know. He's God, we're not. Sorry. But we have to use our own personal prayer time and our spiritual time and our spiritual discipline to trust Him. To trust Him. To know that He's in control. The same God who raised Lazarus is going to deliver us. Those aren't empty words. That's a guarantee from God Himself. The church uses this weekend, Lazarus Saturday and Palm Sunday, to remind us that this Jesus, this Christ, is our Savior. This Christ, whom all of us daily betray through our sinfulness through our actions, 
is the same Christ that's going to come to us and say, I have risen. I will deliver you. In our case, from this horrible pandemic that we suffered through. But I really think it's time that we as Orthodox Christians stop playing into the fear and the anxiety that is out there. Our Savior who does the work. It is our Savior who rose Lazarus. It is our Savior who will deliver us. God bless you.